All right, guys, so today again with another video. Now, today's gonna be a little bit more interesting. Finally got the tire mountain with the rim, so we're good to go on that. I don't know how the lighting is in here, but we got finally the rim on the tire. I wanna put all of four of them on because I want the car to look good already. I don't wanna wait for the headlights and the mirrors to go on anymore. I'm just, you know what, slap them on, why not? Uh, since it's getting warmer now, now my only issue is, you guys see right here, my dad is doing some house renovations, so got all this stuff in the house and on the driveway, but here it is, the new tire in the rim, this was the one that we repaired with the barrel, there's a new tire on it, not expensive, same price I paid to get them on mounted, same price again, it was 15 bucks, this is my issue literally no space to get my car through that space right there and then i have all of this space right here to work with but i'm thinking about put them on right in front of the house why not grab the jack check the car and do it um my neighbor actually did it yesterday to his car because he's getting ready for the summer so i'm gonna do it for you guys so let's do it right in front of my house on the street jack up the car put these damn wheels on and get it over with so be right back out here but these are 20 my car doesn't go as low as it used to it's talking like barely any of the rim the front fender actually sits flush with the wheels i wish it would be like a fender to lip fitment but pretty close not close enough i might need to roll my fenders but i think as of right now i'm pretty good to go the only thing the only complaint I have from these wheels is that my car doesn't go as low as it used to, obviously. Before, I was about I was about half of that phone. So I was like down here. Now I'm all the way up here. Obviously because of the wheels, since they're a lot bigger. But here it is. Again, these are nine, one, forge. 3P's rims. I believe these are the FC8 V2. But let me just show you guys what my riding height looks like. This is my riding height right here. As you guys can see, a little bit of a gap on the back wheel. As always, always been like that. A little bit, not so much of a gap on the front because of the engine. These tires are 225.30. In case you guys are wondering. Don't know the offset of the wheel, so I don't ask the questions about that because I have no clue. But I do know they are nine inches wide. Let me just show you guys again. My riding height did have to go up because they're obviously bigger than the stock. So now I ride at about 70 PSI before I used to ride about 60. That's about it. Let me just show you guys how it looks from the back. there you go so that's how the back look they kind of got like a natural camber well they poke out just a little bit all right guys so as you guys can see that's how the wheels look in the car i absolutely love them to death like that was the best decision i've made so far was the purchase of those wheels don't regret them not one bit um so what's next i don't know Still trying to figure out the headlight situation, trying to get them installed along with the mirrors. 
However, I do have to update on the mirrors. Apparently, to get the camera working on the mirrors, I need to upgrade the entire technology of the car, which is a lot more money than I expected. It's about, I'm going to say, $2,000 conversion there just to upgrade the technology that my car has now because you got to remember it's a base model If I upgrade the technology now, I'm basically upgrading my car to the EXL and above trim Like I need the dual display screen with the touch screen and all of that then get that wiring done So then the camera can function properly, but as of right now, I'm just like fuck it But I'm gonna do it just get them installed with the turning signal the camera. I'll figure it out later down the road, but that's a no from me as of right now because I don't care about all of this technology stuff. I liked it. I thought it would be like an easier conversion to do, but I just found out about that and I was like, nope, there's no way I'm going to do that. Um, all right, so Leo got a new shop and like it was great. It was bigger, way better so he can work on more customers' cars. However, now we're having an issue with the building, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. I found someone who can do the same wiring. However, they're charging me the same price Leo is just to put the headlights on. Leo's giving me a deal on the headlights and the mirrors, so I'm just like, fuck that. I'm just going to wait. But... Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you had a great one, and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.